Hello, um, today on Cracking the Cryptic I'm going to have a go at today's time super fiendish Sudoku. Haven't seen it before, going to call it up now, see how we get along with this. Just, yes, thank you for the explanation of how to do it. Right, so down here we've got seven cells filled here already, so, oh, sorry, five cells filled already, so we can put four and three in those two cells, which means two and one in those two. Two and five, four, three. That puts six either there or there. Six, two, three is either there or there. Four, that's fixed. That has to be there because we know there's a four on the bottom row. Four there. Four can only be there or there, and that four fixes that. So back to pencil marks. Again, four must be in one of those two cells. Eight. There's two eights in this set, column of three boxes. Um, there's also two nines. So that's quite helpful. There's a couple of fours in the central column of boxes. A couple of sixes as well. Um, might as well just finish off this kind of run at the shoots. A couple of sevens in the right-hand column of boxes. A couple of sixes. A couple of fives as well. That's quite interesting in what's becoming a slightly full-up box there. Um, up the middle here, six, nine, five, two, three, seven. Yeah, okay, we don't know any more there. But those two sixes across the middle give us a six either there or there. Now that's quite interesting because six in this box has to be in column one or two. Six in this box also has to be in column one or two. So six in this box must be in column three. And now we've limited four, six, nine there, eight there. One of these must be the two. Um, that four, six, nine, eight, three, two in this column three has to be here now. Um, and that's going to help us put a couple more pencil marks in the middle box. Um, oh, one has to be here. I should have spotted that earlier. That makes these two a pair of three and five. And that's quite powerful normally. So. Three, five, six, four, one, nine has to be here because every other square in this box is ruled out. And that's going to limit nine up here to there or there. Um, ah, now again, sixes, two sixes in rows two and three, there and there. So that one has to be the six here. So this one can no longer be a six for what it's worth. Um, fours, I hadn't noticed that before. Fours have to be in row two there. Uh, 9, 3, 5, 7, 4, 8, 6, 7, 6, 2, eights. Eights in this box here can't be there or there or there or there. They've got to be there and there. That's putting the eights here down at the bottom. And that's quite interesting. In this central box, we can see 6, 9, 3 already given. Then 4, 2, 8 have to be in the bottom rows, and 7 also has to be. So 1, 5 are up here. Oops. So 9, 2, 6, 1, 5, 7. We know 8's there. That's got to be the 3. These are a pair of 8 and 4. 6, 2. That has to be 9. Um... And five. That has to be one, I think. Four, eight, seven, nine. Yeah. This is a five-three pair, and the three is fixed. Seven, five, three. That sorts out this four-three pairing down there. That sorts out this four. Two, four, five. That sorts out eight, four here. Three, eight, seven. They're resolved. Eight, seven, three, nine, four, five. Sure there. Now eight has to be in one of these two central ones. Um, what else have we discovered? Six one five three nine four two eight. We don't know where the seven is. Three nine two eight six four 
one must be either there or there. Five could be anywhere along the bottom. Three, five, six, four, nine, one. Two has to be there or there, but I don't think that really advances us. Five has to be either there or there. Um, now, I'm really only about one deduction away from cracking this, I think. Seven's fixed up there or there. Seven, four, six, seven, nine. Um, three, nine, two, threes are either there or there. So we've got seven, three, two, six, nine, four, six, nine, eight, seven, three, two. Don't know whether that middle one's a one or a five. Um, no, not done yet. That could be a one or a two. Six, four, nine, three. Ah, oh, threes. Threes have to be either here or here. And that's fixing this three. That's good. Three there, five there. Um... Does that help with the fives? Not really. Uh, no, it doesn't. Not even in the central box. One, five, nine, six. One of those is four. We knew that already. Uh, four, six, nine, two, eight, three, one, five, or seven there. Haven't really got much traction on sevens at all. Six, two, three, nine, eight. Yes, we know that. Ah, oh, eight. In column four here, the only place an eight can be is this one. Um, so that's an eight. That's nice. Then one, nine, five, eight, six, seven. So that's four. That's two. That's seven. Seven finally helping a bit. I hope. Yes, these these both have to be sevens. That can't be a four anymore. And that means that the four is fixed here. That's good. Four there, one there, five next to it. Um, that fixes seven here, five. And I think we are done now. As I said, I think we were only one deduction away before. And with that deduction made, I think we're closing in on a kill. Um, six, four, eight, nine, five, one, seven, two, three, six, four. No. That didn't work. Four, six, nine. Oh yeah, seven six are fixed there. Nine six four eight two five seven one three four six nine eight five two. These are five and two, but I don't know quite what order yet. But um, that one puts one of these as a one, and that fixes this one. Okay, one. Five. That is now a five. Sorry, I'm just moving the screen because I've got a blotch on mine. Um, and that five is fixing a five up here, I think. I don't think I'm wrong about that. Five, four, six, six, eight, five. So that's three. Four, one, eight, three. There's two. Um, not being quite as fast at this bit as I'd like to be. Six, five, four, seven, three. There's a two, obviously. Um, that makes that two. That's one. Um, eight and nine here must be in that order. That makes nine and six there. We've got six and one here, and that's finally fixing two and one there. And we're done. So. Um, time, I think, a reflection of the software. I'm not that quick with filling them in. I think with a pencil, I'd be pretty much half the time there. But nice to get it done. And as you can see, the, the logic we've been using, the kind of Snyder technique of um, looking for those shoots first, narrowing down the possibilities in boxes, that's really what helps get even super fiendish puzzles done. So I hope that's some use to you. Maybe, maybe you have... Uh, tips on how to be better and that's fine we're always interested thank you very much for sharing if you do and thank you for watching hope to see you again soon on cracking the cryptic bye now